YouTube kick. What's going on? My name is Trey and welcome to What Can I Change? Man, we are finally about to go ahead and check out um, this interesting Twitter video. And um, surprisingly, guys, I'm actually going to defend it a little bit. So let's check it out. Time blindness. Let's get it. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just wanted to know, are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time? You know, and then the person I was with interrupted and acted like I was asking something else. And then when we were done, they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist. And if you struggle with being on time, you'll never be able to get a job, you know, provided you're trying your absolute best to be there. And then they're like, your stupid generation wants to destroy the workplace. And yeah, I think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time when there's other solutions that we can look to. I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that, yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. And then I asked that person, how can you feel good about yourself upholding this kind of system? And then to think, I'm entitled. No, if people think it's okay to treat others like this, uh, that's entitlement. So I just got yelled at for asking a very... You know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's real funny about this whole thing? I actually... As you guys may and may not know, I was a supervisor for a little bit in time in my life, and I actually had somebody who actually struggled with such a thing, right? They could not show up on time at all, to the point where eventually I had to keep taking their time, and I had to move it back. So they had to be at work at 6, I moved it back to 7, then to 8, then to 9. And this person still could not show up on work. So I want to go over what exactly is time blindness, huh? You're, th you're questioning yourself. You're like, is this really a thing? It is. It absolutely is. I know that's crazy. Let's take a look at it. What is time blindness? Time blindness refers to the, abil it, the, to the inability to accurately measure time. It's frequently seen in people with uh, neurodevelopment disorders like ADHD and autism. ADHD includes a range of hyperactive and attentive symptoms that affect children and adults with ADHD. Effects of ADHD time blindness, being chronically late to events or gatherings, being unable to stay organized at work or school, getting distracted when transitioning from one task to another. We don't need to read them all. You see the point, especially when it goes to this. And the very last part says being misjudged for being lazy. And then how do you overcome it? You identify the areas of impact, identify and avoid time-sucking activities. Don't play the blame game. Whoa. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Slow down now. Now, back what the young lady was saying is there should be accommodations. But here it says, don't play the blame game. Can we, can we zoom in on that? Yeah, I like that. Don't play the blame game. Oh, y'all thought I was really going to defend that? <laughs> Absolutely not. Listen, I'm a man, okay? I'm a man who gets on here and I make videos every single day. And you may notice sometimes I show up early, sometimes I show up late. Um, I try to be around the same time every single day, right? But sometimes things do happen. I get that. But here's the thing. I don't get paid to do this. <laughs> here's the thing. This is not my job. I don't have no contract. Nobody says I have to be here at a certain time. I just choose to do this around the same time because it's easier for me to do all my editing and thumbnails and all that stuff. Hear me say, let me say this. If you struggle with time blindness, if it is really a thing, and it is seems to be a thing, I saw this also on a uh, uh, a clinic page in Cleveland. So if you do struggle with this, do not play the blame game. What you need to end up doing is just either setting yourself up with an alarm. <laughs> that's a crazy concept. If you're a person who loses all types of time every time you do something, that's what it, this is basically saying. It's just another way of saying losing track of time. If you lose track of time, you know, ADHD, autism, stuff like that, then set yourself an alarm. Set yourself an alarm. Know that your job does not need to accommodate you. Know your job doesn't need to say, hey, well, she's going to be. No, 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 no. If you get a time, like, how am I supposed to set up your time? Because what's the difference between me telling you to be at work at five and me telling you to be at work at seven? Okay. What's the difference between those times? You're going to be late regardless. You're going to be late regardless of what time I put up. Then you need to be setting an alarm. I can't be accommodating that because what you guys got to understand. And even with me, when I was a supervisor, the problem with the young man that we had when he was coming in, it's not the fact that he was just late. It's the fact that we had a contract with a certain company. So when we say, hey, at seven o'clock, we're going to have 10 people. So you should be seeing this many tickets work. We should be seeing this much stuff going through. And if you've ever worked on a sales team, they're like, we should be seeing about an average of this many sales, right? 
if you work for a, a company that does like, uh, let's say you set up appointments, we'd be like, okay, we need to see this many appointments set up. Then that is important to the the company because normally the company pays you for that reason. And so your company will lose money if you say five people are going to be working this and you, you, you only got two people. So that means way less work is getting done. So your, your company as a whole makes way less money. So what, what happens when the companies start making way less money? People start getting cut. Ask ESPN. When the companies lose money, you lose money, buddy. So I don't think it's up to the company to accommodate you because they got they got to make money too. They got to get orders through. They got to do stuff. So no, you shouldn't need to dismantle the workforce because you can't show up on time. Even if you do struggle with such a thing as time blindness, you have to learn how to figure it out. That's just the beauty of life. We all have to figure stuff out. People have to figure out stuff with their daycare, when they have kids, if they're a single parent, if their car breaks down. All that stuff has to eventually start to work together. It's just the beauty of life, baby. I know you're a young lady and the social media has got your head mixed up thinking that we everybody's got to accommodate your life and do whatever they can for you. I'm sorry to let you know it's not going to happen. If you struggle with time blindness, you know what to do. Don't play the blame game. Set some alarms. Write down some notes. Make it happen. Some people in this world got to work harder than others to get things done. That's just the beauty. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but I also am going to say goodbye. I'm done.